the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Welcome to America's favorite answering question game, Jeopardy. Keith is the champ, earning $11,000 a day. This is going to be our most exciting year ever, certainly for the players, because we have raised the limits. Hope you all enjoyed the past six weeks in which we replayed some of our special tournaments from last season. How lucky I was to be married to Alex. Alex was a gentleman, and I think he admired men that had that gentlemanly aura about them. He was very grateful. He was a man that moved through life with gratitude. Alex loved traveling. When we could bring the kids with us, that was always extra special. He was able to maintain his humility because of three people, Matthew, Emily, and Jean. He was very present and very able to be part of our lives as kids. Kids had no school today, so I promised six-year-old Emily and nine-year-old Matthew that they could attend a taping of our show. Very present with our schoolwork. We didn't really feel his absence because of his work schedule. Good luck to all three of you. Take a look at the board. Here comes the Jeopardy round. The dollar figures first. If he wasn't at work, he would be home in a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, a baseball hat. He was a very normal, very normal guy. He loved fixing things around the house. He was very passionate just about being engaged in the everyday workings of life. I'm often asked, when Jeopardy began, Alex, did you believe that it would last this long? answer, the honest answer to that is no. <laughs> Jeopardy was always big for me as a kid, so Alex was a big inspiration for me. You're gonna love it. What is Ben Gay Paris? <laughs> he created this place, this space where it was safe to be a smart person. Now, when you're not studying, what do you do? I watch Jeopardy. Oh, <laughs> We have a winner. He loved that it was a quiz show that promoted knowledge and intelligence. He was so good at it, so graceful, so perfect for the role, that we all thought the job was easy. And it's not. Hosting Jeopardy is incredibly hard. Pick up your signaling device. Let's go to work. The Jeopardy round. Libreville. Libreville is the capital of Gabon. Hey, you ran the category. Way to go. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years, rocking my peers and putting suckers in fear. Mama said, knock you out. I love that he was focused. He was a very focused man. It was LL Cool J. That was such a quality that allowed him to be very successful. You've arrived when you are featured on fingernails <laughs> as polish. It's full nerd. I think he enjoyed being a bit of a ham. He loved going to Vegas and dressing in Elvis's costume and having celebrities on the show. Neil, what is an ace? Yes. And <laughs> shut it! When Alex saw Will Ferrell, he loved it. And so this was the final Jeopardy. <laughs> and what a ride it has been. Hi, everyone. I have some news to share with all of you. When Alex was diagnosed, we were together in, in the office of the oncologist, and we had never thought in a million years it was stage four pancreatic cancer. I'm gonna fight this, and I'm gonna keep working, and with the love and support of my family and friends, and with the help of your prayers also, I plan to beat the low survival rate statistics for this disease. People were shocked, and right away they were sending so many notes, so many emails, so many sweet gifts. Jeopardy was uh, such an important thing in his life, you know, that no matter how he was feeling, no matter how rough the treatments were, he could come in here and he would still be Alex Trebek. Producers would offer, we can delay taping, we could cancel taping, Alex wouldn't dream of it. Alex would go back in the dressing room in a state that no one would think someone could come out and host Jeopardy, and yet the director would get on and announce, you know, all crew to headset, and 
we'd all get to our positions, and sure enough, Alex would come out as if nothing had happened. You wouldn't even know the pain and suffering that he was going through. Let's take a look at your response. Did you come up with the right one? No? What is, we love you, Alex? That's very kind. <laughs> Thank you. Costs you 1995. You're left with five bucks. Okay. I think the whole country was thinking exactly what that contestant wrote. They caught Alex Trebek with his heart open and, and a tear in his eye. I remember asking him in the car, driving, you know, to and from the, the chemo appointments, and I said to him, would you do anything differently? And he said, Gene, I've, I'm 80 years old. I've lived the most amazing life. And I thought, wow, that's really beautiful. And I strive to live like that. He thanked me. Well, thanks for helping out with Jeopardy, Ken. You know, as if I was, as if I was doing him a favor. I said, Alex, no. I mean, are you kidding? After 38 years, thank you. Thank you for everything. I wish I'd said it more. I think about him every time I'm out there on the Alex Trebek stage. You know, sharing this stage with Alex Trebek was one of the greatest honors of my life. Not many things in life are perfect, but Alex did this job pretty much perfectly for more than 36 years, and it was even better up close. The part of Alex's legacy that I take most seriously is the curiosity matters. Alex knew that knowledge equaled power. And he was a man that really loved to know things and always stayed very curious. I thought it would be a great idea to set up this fund at Stand Up To Cancer that would promote healing through supporting the scientists that do all this amazing research. I hope that all of the fans and community of Jeopardy really can lean in and, and show support for this. I think they showed so much support for my dad when he was going through his cancer treatments. I hope that, you know, they stand up, you know, with this great organization. And since he was all about the right answer, I think it's very fitting that this fund is now established in his name, and hopefully it will benefit thousands and thousands of people. Thank you.